For Ricardo Aguirre, business is good at his beloved food truck he calls Tamales y Tacos Puebla. But when he needs to restock the truck's refrigerator with ingredients, he heads to his local market and realizes everything has gone up in price by a lot. Six dollars for this, before you could get it for two ninety nine, double in price. Even the oil he uses to cook with. Instead of being forty, now we pay eighty for two. Ricardo is not alone. Millions of Americans are struggling to get by Hi. with inflation reaching the highest levels you? in decades. Which is why Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell announced Wednesday an aggressive interest rate hike of half a percentage point. We understand the hardship it is causing, and we're moving expeditiously to bring it back down. The U.S. benchmark or target inflation rate is about 2 percent, a rate at which the Fed believes a normal, healthy economy can function without too much strain on consumers. In March 2019, before anyone had heard of COVID-19, the U.S. economy was humming along. Inflation was at 1.9 percent. Basic interest rates were also low. But then March 2020 hit, and so too did the pandemic. The U.S. economy began to shut down. The Federal Reserve slashed interest rates to near zero to keep the economy from total collapse. It worked. But since then, supply chains have become clogged, while consumer demand has increased, along with energy costs with Russia's war in Ukraine. Goods and services have become more expensive. Inflation kept creeping up last year and has been over 6 percent for six straight months. It's now at a 40-year high, so interest rates are going up to put the brakes on an overheating economy. Left unchecked, inflation can lead to an unsustainable cycle of price hikes that directly affect consumers and business owners, just like Ricardo, the food truck owner. I have a business to run and a family to support. Um, I hate, you know, to raise the prices, but unfortunately, I don't have a way around it. The government hoping this latest interest rate hike will provide the economy with what the Fed calls a soft landing for millions of Americans. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, Washington.